Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Boost. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2020, the album, Dad, Air. <clears throat> Rock on gold dust. I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid, I got in a fight, uh-huh. Kiss me wolf, come on pretty baby, kiss me deadly. I love that song. Do you guys like Lita Ford? Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. Lita Ford? I love, I want Lita Ford to be my good JD of life. Okay, so anyway, so anyway, how are you guys doing? Let's get into this video. Today, I know, it's a big surprise. We're gonna talk about Jeffree Star. I'm kind of hoping that somebody else out there in the beauty industry or on YouTube or anybody um, would start doing something other than Jeffree Star. Um, I was gonna make a video about Gabby Hanna. People were like, will you make a video about Gabby Hanna's return? But to be really honest with you, I'm very, very confused and I have mixed uh, reactions to her return. So I don't know really if I'm gonna make that video or what I wanna say about it or anything. I will say this, I did notice on Twitter that Gabby Hanna is no longer following not even one person. And um, I still haven't heard from her on whether or not what she told me that Shane told her about Jeffree Star is the truth or not. So she still doesn't address that. So I don't know if she ever will. I, my guess is that she probably will never come out and say anything about it. So anyway, um, I don't know. I might make that video at some point talking about Gabby Hanna. If you guys want me to make that video, put it in the comment section below. But today's video is going to be about Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is in Wyoming. He apparently um, brought some of his close friends out there, none of which look like anybody that I know, which is interesting at this point. I don't know wh who these people are. I know the one guy that he's with is like a lifelong friend because he said that. Um, but I'm going to show you a clip from Wyoming in just a second that he posted on his Instagram story yesterday. And then I received several messages from people that are not happy about a picture that he posted on his Instagram story where he was in a grocery store and he pulled down his pants um, and like opened a bag of chips or something like that. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. Um, and uh, I want to read some comments before I do. Okay. So anyway, the first comment that I want to read, hold on a second. <laughs> I need my reading glasses so that I can read the room, so to speak. All right. By the way, I don't have any lip gloss on today because I'm out of lip gloss. My favorite lip gloss in the entire world, Lunar Beauty Celine. It comes back out on Friday, supposedly. I'm hoping it better, okay? And I'm going to be there. You better bet your butt on Friday to buy, to buy a ton of it. I'm ready for it. Okay. So, um, somebody said to me, what's up with the fan flipping? I mean, can you do this? Double fan flipping? Can you go? Hold on. Woo! <laughs> and I can't either. Boost! Anyway, can you do this? I lost both of my fans and probably a bunch of you too. Hold on a second. I need my fans. Let's get, I digress. Let's get back. <clears throat> What's up with the fans flipping? I mean, are you new? <laughs> I've been doing the fan flipping for four years. Okay. Actually, it'll be four years. Next week is my anniversary on this channel. Um, uh, the anniversary of doing drama videos. What's up with the fan, fans flipping? Tired of your video. Dropped by to hear about Jeffrey and you're just too much. See ya. <laughs> by the way, I love when Jeffree Star fans and stands don't even know how to spell his name. It's J-E-F-F-R-E-E. -E. There is no Y in Jeffrey, okay? Just so you know. Because I know you're a diehard fan. So I love when diehard fans don't know how to spell the names of the people that the diehard fans up. Anyway. Uh, but I do want to um, address one thing that she said in here when she said, you're just too much. Yes, hell yes I am. Be too much. I say it all the time. Listen, all my life I have had people that have said, quiet down. You're too much. You know, when you, you're just, oh my God, just quiet down. Don't, okay? Be too much. Live your life to the most. Do everything that makes you happy. If you want to roller skate, roller skate. And by the way, all my new merch is up on my merch store. I have been working with a fantastic graphic designer. Her name is Caroline. I love you, Caroline. You've been so much fun to work with. I will link her bio below. Um, so anyway, here, I'm going to throw up a couple here around there, some of the designs that I have, but not all of them. You're going to go have to check them out. 
I have Be Too Much in orange and blue. I have Good Judy in two different colors. I have on all kinds of different things, hoodies and sweatshirts and tank tops and everything that your heart would desire. And I have mugs and tote bags and stickers and all kinds of things over there. I have Boost, very cool beast too. Um, I have Family Friendly, I have Don't Even Worry About It, and um, a couple other things, and then I have, um, uh, tr I'm Not Going Anywhere, and then I also have True Crime Book Club, so if you're part of my True Crime Book Club, okay, it's, listed, it's very cool, Mel and I are very, very excited about it. So all the new merch is there, it's listed right below, so go check it out. And uh, yeah, so always be too much. Don't ever let anybody quiet you down, okay? So that's the first thing that I wanted to talk about. The next comment that I wanted to read <laughs> is, let me put my reading glasses back on to read the room. Uh, someone said, I haven't watched these videos because I don't care about Jafar Star. I love the nicknames that people come up with Jeffree Star. It's a lot, right? Um, I don't care about Jafar Starfish's uh, relationship, but this is the part where you really seem obsessed with him, Peter. Yes, you are a drama channel, but this is just personal reporting on Jafar. It seems obsessed. Okay. In the four years that I have been doing drama commentary on this channel, it's been four years, okay? So I think I should know. I was one of the originals back in the day. Um, there weren't a lot of us. Now there's a lot of us out there, and I love to watch the drama commentary channels, okay? But this was actually the kind of stuff that we reported on, okay? It wasn't like life ruining stuff and all this kind of stuff. We reported like on the relationships and hmm, who's friends and all that kind of stuff. It's not obsessive. Okay, although I am. If you're new to this channel and you're a Jeffree Star fan, I'm sorry that you didn't already know this, but this is, I'm obsessed with Jeffree Star. I got a 12 step meetings, okay? Because I love Jeffree Star. I, I wanna be married to Jeffree Star. I wanna live in his castle in the sky. I wanna be his lonely doll, okay? All day long. I don't wanna be nobody else's lonely doll, just Jeffree Star's, okay? So if you didn't know that, yes, this is a Jeffree Star obsession channel, okay? Now we know it and we don't have to say it anymore, all right? And if you don't like that, piss off, I guess, okay? But anyway, every other drama channel out there that's of my like kind of like same where I'm at, I'll make videos about Jeffree Star and who he's dating. It's not just me. And I think I broke my reading glasses with this fan. And if I did, I'm gonna be so bitter because they were expensive. But anyway, so uh, get over your bad self, okay? Then I wanted to read some of these comments that I saw on Jeffree Star's Twitter because people, he posted the picture, you know, and then these were some of the comments that he received. Bullying Jeffree Star isn't just a hobby. It's a lifestyle, a reason to breathe. It's art, the first gift you open on Christmas, a hug from a loved one. It's everything you've ever wanted, everything you ever needed. And somebody else responded and said, nah, it's just pathetic. And then somebody said, literally everyone bullying him and saying he's paying this man to be his boyfriend are pathetic. You really think he cares that much that he would pay someone? Um, hypothetically, yeah, I think he would. I think a lot of celebrities would. Um, I don't... I don't know what people pay people for. I don't know, okay, to make things look a certain way. But is that like a really that weird of a idea that we would think in this world that somebody, I'm not just saying Jeffree Star, I'm saying anybody, okay? That somebody would pay somebody else to help them improve their image or to, is that such a stretch? Like that is not a stretch for me. That has been done for years and years and years and years. That is literally like PR 101, okay? And if you don't think that it is, then in quite quite frankly, you're new to the world, okay? I mean, this is something that celebrities have done for years, okay? Years and years and years. Every time Jeffree Star gets in trouble, he's all of a sudden giving away a bunch of money on Twitter, okay? Every time Jeffree Star is under scrutiny, he's doing nice things for other people, okay? He's coming out and talking about how much he loves people. You think that's just because that day he decided to wake up and give $5,000 away, which don't get me wrong, is very, very nice, right? I think it's very nice that he does that, okay? It's very nice anybody that gives any money away. But on that day, that specifically just happens to fall after a bunch of stuff comes out, no, it's so completely contrived. And a lot of what Jeffree Star does is completely contrived. And do I think that this hanging out with this person is a little contrived? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. But before I do, um, uh, I wanted to see, hold on a second. Oh, somebody sent me this. So this was on um, that, uh, who, I guess it's uh, Jose, Hosey, uh, Josie kissed a girl and she liked it, you know, from, Big brother that Jeffrey did the video with, or my boyfriend does my, my first date does my makeup or whatever, and then acted like he was hanging out with that person. Do you remember what that? Okay. Like that was the first one that he put out there and said like, oh, look at my view and we're hanging out and all that kind of stuff. So somebody comment, this is too small because this is on Instagram and I can't see it. Somebody sent me this where it says, 
Well, apparently, Bay ain't Jeffrey, LOL, to Jose. And he responds and says, never was, LOL, we were friends. Well, actually, he says, we were friends. Okay. And then someone said, not friends anymore, question mark. And he said, we're, uh, we, we still are. And um, someone down here said, you need someone iconic, someone fabulous, someone effing killer. And he said, I agree. So that's interesting. Okay, so Jeffree Star did put that out there and kind of alluded to the fact that they were like just hanging out or they were together. But apparently they were just friends. Okay, so yeah, you did lead people to believe that that was something more than it was, right? Okay, so when people are like, I, I don't know if there was any payment that occurred, I have no clue. But even if you don't, like, he probably gained, like, followers and things like that and some clout off of Jeffree Star posting him in those pictures because they posted pictures everywhere. So I'm sure that that probably helped him to some degree. You know what I mean? So that was the next thing I wanted to talk about. Hold on a second. I want to give a little shout out. Other, I don't know the name of the person. Um, whatever that was. Oh, pictures of the Starbucks cups. And then, oh my God, this is the Brenda the Bride and the Flyaway Veil. Okay, the children's book. I can't find it in the basement. It's actually called Jeffree Star and the Flyaway Friends. Okay, it's the second memoir. Um, by the way, oh, I was just going to show you all my merch. So, let's get into the Jeffree Star video. So, he posted this. Now, remember, okay, Jeffree Star said he is not, I'm not doing drama in 2020. I'm not addressing anything. Blah, 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 Okay, so this is what Jeffree Star had to say yesterday on Instagram. Good morning, everyone. Officially here in Wyoming, it is raining. It's beautiful. It's stunning out. It hasn't rained in California in a minute. So just to be out here in the woods and the fresh air. <sighs> Bitch, I'm feeling good. Now, I've entertained a lot of bullshit before, a lot of lies. And I, I told myself, 2020, girl, really, there's just no time or energy for that. So you know, the old Jeffrey would always address things and always come on here and be like, you guys, this is actually what's happening. I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm living my life. I'm actually genuinely happy. And I know that upsets a lot of people, bitch. Happiness should never upset anyone. I want everyone to win. I want everyone to be amazing. And I want everyone to have a good fucking life. So if anyone else has any negative energy, can't relate. I know rumors and lies are entertaining and that's how people make money and advertisements and clicks. Bitch, I know how the world works, so it never bothers me. But just know that I'm hanging out with someone amazing who is single and has been single for a while. So anything else you hear is a motherfucking lie. And I know it sounds entertaining. I know everything's like a movie and it's all fun and crazy and sounds scandalous. It's not. The real world ain't that, ain't that exciting, baby. So um, I'm going to go enjoy my day. I'm going to go drink a Red Bull. We're going to go have some amazing adventures. And I'll be back in a little bit. A fresh limoncello will make everything better. Trust me, okay? So anyway, Jeffree Star is living his best life up in Wyoming with his friend. Okay. Oh my God, I'm really happy for him. No, I am happy for him. If he wants to be happy, listen. When people talk about how happy they are and they're in the middle of this vacation in the wilderness, you know, and they're out there with this person that they love hanging out with, and they're so happy and they're just so, you know, they just, they're the happiest they've ever been and they just, you know, all that kind of stuff. I typically think that those people jump on Instagram to address drama. Don't you? Like, when people are so happy and they're like on a vacation and they're just like the happiest they've ever been and they're like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm on this vacation. I'm with this person having so much fun that I'm hanging out with. That's single, by the way. Make, make that clear because this person's ex came out on Twitter and was not happy. She said something like, I woke up to see that my ex is doing something, 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 okay? She was not happy about it, okay? And people were not happy with her. A lot of people were like, you need to get over your ex and all that kind of stuff. Whatever, I don't know about all that. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. But anyway, to say you're at the happy, this is where Jeffree Star believes his own lies, okay? To say you are the happiest you've ever been, which he has said that so many times, like, I don't know, every other day he's the happiest he's ever been. So, I mean, I, I, that's great that his life continues to improve so much, right? But you're the happiest that you've ever been, but you jump on Instagram to address drama that you said that you weren't going to address, okay? And don't tell me that he didn't address the drama. He absolutely did by getting on there and saying, I'm not going to address the drama, okay? If you're not going to address the drama, you just wouldn't address the drama, right? The other thing that's interesting to me about this, I will just say, okay? 
And I, you know, like I had a girlfriend back in the day and I'd be like, girl, you want to go to the store? And she'd say like, can you give me two hours? And it would take her that long to like do her hair and makeup. I'd be like, girl, can we just go? Like seriously, please. Like Jeffree Star has a team of makeup and hair people that are getting him completely ready, okay? So that he can go out on a walk with this guy that he is supposedly dating, okay? So that a photographer can take pictures of him that then Jeffree Star can post, okay, on Instagram. And his story of him like being on this guy's back, that was one picture the other picture was them like standing in a coffee shop now I, now I don't know if you really understand what I'm saying okay but Jeffree Star gets so glammed up okay on a trip to Wyoming in a cabin when you're out in the wilderness and just getting coffee which hey if that's you do you okay but he gets all glammed up to then go out in the wilderness in Gucci to walk around with this guy and then by the way just have a photographer or somebody with him that says can you take this picture so I can post this on Instagram hey can you take this picture that looks like we're <laughs> middle of a laugh just having fun you know like and it's so contrived to me that you have to let people know how much fun you're having with this guy and how real the relationship is I don't care I hope you're the happiest you ever would why would I not want somebody to be happy you know I want everybody I love to be in love hell yesterday I celebrated my 12 year wedding or my 12 years of being together and nine years married I thought it was eight because I'm old man of YouTube and I can't count but I want everybody to be in love. Why wouldn't you want anybody to be in love? If this is Jeffree Star's love of his entire life, I'm happy for him. I ain't buying it, but I hope, I hope that this is the love of his life. I really, really do, okay? We didn't get any reason for why he and Nathan, who, were the, who was the love of his life for five years and helped him start businesses and did all this kind of stuff, we didn't hear anything about why that ended, okay? Of which he invested his audience in so much time in Nathan being a part of his life, but we didn't hear anything about what happened with that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's very interesting to me. So I, I hope he's happy. Now, I will tell you that my husband and I are the king of the selfies, okay? Now, I love to be at the pool and take a good selfie. See, listen. This has kind of become my uniform of life. Do I stand up? I'm going to show you, okay? So this is my bathing suit. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? It says Speedo on the side. No, I don't wear a Speedo, but I do wear Speedo. Get it? Okay. This has kind of become my uniform for the summer. And then my Birkenstock sandals, I have like 30 pairs of these. And then I always have just a beach towel around my neck because I'm constantly going to the pool, okay? Because I love, oh, guess what? I have another one right here because I love going to the pool, okay? Okay. But now, I take pictures of selfies, or I'll be like, hey, babe, like, hey, get in the picture with me. I want to take a picture of us. And I'm like that, right? Like, for two seconds while we're at the pool. But I don't know how many times that we've been on vacation that I'm like, I mean, maybe walking down the beach, let's take a picture together or something like that. I posted that picture on my Instagram yesterday for our anniversary. But I don't know how many times we've been on vacation where I'm like, okay, I'm going to get really dressed up. You get really dressed up. I'm going to be all glammed up. And then we're going to have some passerby take a picture of us, like, like mid... <laughs> having so much fun it's contrived it's fake it's phony i'm sorry it just is to me okay and that's my opinion that's my opinion that's my favorite video of clip of life okay from the from the uh real housewives of orange county reunion it's my opinion i love that so much okay but it is it's my opinion so if you don't like it like i said piss off um, but it is. It's my opinion. So anyway, do I think that he's the happiest person in his life? No, I think that Jeffrey is very, very lonely. And it's kind of sad to me, you know, that he has all of this. And, you know, and then when he says in there, I always get on here and I address things. No, you don't. You never address anything. What you say is we're not going to address it. And I don't know if anybody ever catches that. Okay, because I have every clip in my phone of his Instagram stories that I could put together for you. But every time that he comes out, he always says, we're not going to address this. What we're not going to do, okay, is make Jeffree Star drama of 2020. And then he posts another video and another video and another video. This is Jeffree Star saying, I want to be in the middle of drama. This is a marketing scheme, okay, for building the life of Jeffree Star. Because if you take Jeffree Star and you take out the edginess and the drama, who is he, okay? Some dude that runs a business and kind of posts videos every once in a while that lives in L.A. that has a makeup brand that we don't ever know about the people that he dates. Because there's a lot of people that don't put who they're dating in their lives. He constantly is doing that stuff. Okay, I don't mind, you know. Like, in the past, those were the things that were kind of interesting to me about Jeffree Star. But don't, you know, whatever, act like this isn't, like we're not going to talk about this and stuff like that. And in fact... He, wanna act, he wants to act like it's not a big deal. E! News picked this up, okay? They put on here his tweet where it says, I know it's devastating news for other people, but I don't give money to anyone I'm doing 
uh, or dating <laughs> or doing, I guess, dating or anyone who is effing me, work on your own insecurities, sis. I'm not the problem. And it, they put Jeffree Star claps back at claims he's paying the new boyfriend to date him. Now, I'm not saying that you're dating the new boyfriend. I'm sure you're taking him out to dinner and the, all that kind of stuff. You shut on your Instagram story. That's fine. Who cares? Okay, we all do that when we date somebody, right? I don't really think it's anybody's business if Jeffree Star is paying him. Do I think it's anybody's business if Jeffree Star is paying him to make it look like he's his boyfriend? Well, that's a different story, okay? Because that's contrived, fake, and phony. I, my interest will be, and I can tell you how, and this will be the thing for me, is how long this dude sticks around, okay? Now, if this dude's in his life five years from now, I might kind of believe that this is real. If this dude is out of the picture in 30 days, no. For me, it's a PR stunt, okay? And that's going to be what the test of time will be for me. And if Jeffrey gets on there and says, we had a lot of fun, but it just didn't work out, and I want to be single, and I don't want to really, no, I ain't going to buy it. Mm -mm. And, you know, he, this guy went from, Posting a picture of him being at the pool, which is always what he does, to now they're holding hands in the coffee shop. I mean, they have moved faster than any couple that I know. And you would think that somebody that was 34 years old that had just gotten out of a relationship not too long ago that was five years, that was the love of your life, okay, that you were, I would think, devastated to some degree that you guys weren't together anymore. Of course, they parted as friends, but they don't talk at all anymore. And they've had their differences. And Jeffrey's made that very, very clear, even though he was the love of his life and they parted as friends. You would think that that person wouldn't rush right into another relationship. I know people do it. Okay, I got a lot of good genies of mine. You know who you are that do it. But I would think that maybe he would think through this and be like, maybe I shouldn't. I just met this guy, you know, like he was just at my pool. And now we're in Wyoming and we're holding hands in a coffee shop taking pictures where I'm riding his back. What's that, by the way? Okay. So anyway, that was that. And you want to get upset. Now, I want to read a comment that I received. Now, Jeffree Star posted this picture on Instagram. I'm not going to show it. He's a Tim, and he's got on, I think, shorts or, I think maybe like, uh, what do you call them? Like, uh, <laughs> I was going to call them lounging pants. Pilates pants. Now, when Jeffree Star hits 40, that's when he's going to, like, you know, go from wearing, like, the Gucci sweatshirt. <laughs> He'll start wearing the Lululemon, and then we're going to see a Madonna transformation where he's into Kabbalah, and he's doing, you know, like, the Pilates and the yoga and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be Jeffree Star at 40, <laughs> okay? He should have waited and put out his all-nude palette then. It would have made more sense, probably. One other thing that I wanted to add that I actually had to pull out my ring light again after I put it away because I totally forgot I wanted to say this in the video was that Jeffree Star said in his little Instagram story that he totally understands that it's for advertising and views and all that kind of stuff so he doesn't care he said do you he doesn't care because he's the happiest he's ever been right so when everybody wants to come over here and they want to say this is personal and this is bullying and this is me he doesn't care he gets it see he has given us total approval to say and do whatever. He totally gets it. He gets it. It's for clicks. It's for views. And it, trust me, it is for views, right? Because when you make YouTube videos, like I always say, tell me the YouTuber that makes videos that says, I don't want anybody to watch my video. So when people come to my video and they say, you're only talking about this for views, right? When trust me, there are a lot of other people out there that I could talk about that get just as many views as Jeffree Star. But I'm choosing to talk about Jeffree Star today because he's in the drama, right? But when people come to me and they say, you're just making this video for views, exactly. You figured me out. You totally figured me out. <laughs> yes, I make videos because I want people to watch them. Why would I not? Like, you know, that to me is always such a funny argument when people say that, you know. But anyway, I just want to come on here and say that. So I want to thank Jeffrey um, for giving myself and all the other drama commentary channels full leverage to talk about whatever we want to talk about. He's fine. Just do you. I get it. I get it. So thank you, Jeffrey, for that. I appreciate it. But anyway, um, I want to, so there was this picture that he posted and the picture was of him standing in a grocery store. He pulled down his pants with his underwear and he opened like a bag of chips or something. People were not happy about it. I got a lot of DMs about this. So when you come to me and say it's a stretch, okay, here's an example of people coming to me. I don't make this stuff up, okay? So this is Erica. I asked her if I could uh, read her comment. So let me read you her comment. She said, that would be awesome. <laughs> there you go, Erica. That would be awesome! <laughs> I love people. I love you guys so much. This is so fun. I love getting on here. I did my review today of the pumpkin, the iced 
the cold brew, pumpkin, something cold brew. Put my blog up. I'm going to do, listen, I got my meditations right here because I need to get straight. Some of you need Jesus. Okay? I don't need Jesus, okay? Because I got a limoncello. And when you got a limoncello, you don't need Jesus. You know what I mean? Did y'all watch my video yesterday? I did a reaction to that WAP song and I did a TikTok dance at the end of it. I had so much fun. You know I'm a TikTok star. If you don't believe me, look below. I did the WAP dance on TikTok. Okay, so this Erica, she said, okay, okay, I have to vent about Jeffree Star's latest IG post. Here's the thing I have absolutely zero problem whatsoever with. Jeffrey or literally anyone else in the world taking pictures of themselves with their booty out or whatever you want to take pictures of, you do you. Go on with your bad self. More power to you. But to literally go to a public grocery store during a worldwide pandemic, grab a bag of chips, pull your pants down, and pose for photos with your booty hanging out, I can't. I just can't. She said, I feel like I'm being a Karen, but that's not sanitary. The fact that he grabbed a bag of chips, pulled down his pants, and then I'm assuming pulled up his pants and hopefully took the chips to the register to buy them after touching his booty and the bag of chips. Uh, but like the cashier would have had to touch that bag of chips after that. I'm just not sure why anyone would think that's okay. I'm sorry, but I just had to say it. So anyway, a lot of people had issues with this. They really, really did. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Jeffrey Star, could you please stay out of drama for a couple days? Okay. I'm thinking I might because my husband's off for the next couple days because we're having like a staycation for our anniversary, you know? I would love to be traveling too, but we're not. Um, so we're doing a little staycation for our anniversary in the next couple days. So please, Jeffrey, just stay out of some drama! Switch, listen, Jeffrey, I, I got it all figured out for you, okay? I know you can't take responsibility for your past actions. I know you say what we're not going to do is drama in 2020. Wrap a bow with this, okay? But I have it all figured out for you, Jeffrey, okay? You want to end the Lonely Doll series? You want to end uh, Brenda the Bride and her flyaway friends? Okay, you need to get rid of that Red Bull and you need to get you some limoncello, okay? And another thing, Jeffrey, you might, I'm telling you, okay? I know you're not going to want to believe this. But Manny's lip gloss is the best lip gloss in the entire world. And I cannot wait until that lip gloss comes out on Friday. Anyway, I love you guys. And I will see you on Friday. I mean, not Friday. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what I was saying Friday. I'm so excited about the lip glosses. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.